So yeah, so these are all the mobs that you kill to level your classes. So the way you want to do it is actually you want to just kind of gather a bunch of them. We're pretty strong, so we're going to one-shot a bunch of them. You would just kind of hit one at a time. Come this way. They actually stay with you, so it's fine if you lose like, sight of them. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy IT he back with another Eden Eternal in 2020 gameplay. How you guys doing? Thank you for checking back into my videos once again. The love and support has been honestly endless and you know I just want to bring you guys more amazing content. You guys have been loving this game specifically in particular, so I thought it would be nice to just bring you guys like more content of it. Uh so last time we played we actually did a farming guide. Before that it was just like a general gameplay of the game, just to get you guys started and check it out for yourself. For this one specifically, I wanted to do something a little bit different, which is run over like the guild town and like the stuff that goes within crafting. Okay, so first of all, let me make it uh, like kind of like obviously clear is that crafting in this game is very, very important, right? Let's switch to a low key mount, which is this beautiful cat over here. So this guy named Cole, right? So this is what crafting means, like the hammer, as you guys can tell. Crafting assignments. You craft whatever. I don't have any assignments right now. But essentially, you would click the item, you'd craft it, you'd need the materials required, which is going to be like these type of stuff. Like this is basically a weapon, while this is like, you know, obviously material, like this is also material. And all these ashes over here, as you guys can tell. So yeah, so another way you can do it is you can also do the alchemist, which is different type of crafting. Uh, it's also crafting, but it's like crafting like an enchant for your weapon rather than the weapon itself. And yeah, that's what you get these from, right? Wasting chance and stuff. So for now, it's like a lot of information I know, but <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to break it down. So let's go to our base. So what the base is, like every clan or guild has like a guild town, and that's your base. So for us, which is our clan name is Garden. Um, with a, like a couple of friends, so it's pretty nice. <laughs> the music here is pretty nice too. So, right, as you guys can look over here. So this is our guild town, essentially. And yeah. So here you can have a bunch of different things, right? So like if you go this way, you have like a guarding area where you can actually garden. I'm not sure if I have any. I don't. I was going to show you guys. So you can actually like literally garden here. Like your character would be picking up stuff from the grass if you have the item in your backpack. <laughs> and then if you go on to here, you have your famous forger, which essentially enables you to actually craft like armor and stuff. So it's it's a little bit tricky right so like let me show you guys i'll just buy like a really cheap one which is like two gold i have like forty one thousand. so if you just click that right we just bought it and then you go here crafting assignments you'll see that in my entire bag the only thing that's green is this i can't click anything else into here everything else see can be used but you click on this it can be used right so this is how you craft it and then it tells you you need drive branch and then you need sacred animal fur so you click on the item mall Go to loyalty, consumables, and there it is, dry branch, and you just go through the pages, and yeah. So you buy what you need and you craft it. So another thing to pay attention to here is, um, if you go onto here, and then you have these guys right here. So they're essentially merchants for rings and necklaces, which are these things right here, right? So this is the necklace, and then these are the rings, and yeah, I mean... This game has received a couple of updates for this in particular. So right now the gear is up to like 110, which you guys can see I'm wearing it. So it's this Awakened Blazing Hydra in like gear with really high enchants as well, like level 110 enchants. So essentially, yeah, you move on to here and you have the rings and then you have the katanas. So the rings just, I mean, it's pretty obvious. You click on it, there's a necklace and then there's the rings and you buy them with the required mats. So now we move on to this way, is you got the summoner, right? So the way summoner works is you need summoning assignments in your bag. Once again, just like this, let's get rid of this now. <laughs> you would click on it and then you would summon the assignment and then you would be able to use it. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward actually. Then we move on to here. And let's see what we got. Is we got the bow uh, blueprint experts. Essentially, once again, it's just armor, it's just blueprints that you buy to level up your gear and stuff, which you guys can see right here. So it's nothing too crazy or complicated. I mean, you need a bow, you go here. Um, you need a shield, a dagger, etc. So what I'm using is a dagger. This is a dagger right here. As you guys can read under next writer, it says dagger, so that's what I'm using. 
and yeah we move on to this way so in terms of updates in particular in relation to like gear and stuff uh, this game received a lot of updates right if I just run you guys through some of the gear essentially um, so right here we have this set so this is called the Awakening Blazing Hydra set um, maybe I can do more sets in the upcoming videos but for this one I'll just break it down to this one and <laughs> already getting low let me hit him with the maybe <laughs> so yeah um let's put on battle so in this gear in particular right so we have the head gem rising sun and then you have the head gem as well which is the wild star and you basically gem this gear and you make it more op make it stronger so if you guys go to the archive and then you go onto armor and you go to heavy armor so you can press on own treasure only or you press on all of them essentially and this tells you all the gear in the game, right? <laughs> it's pretty crazy. So you'll see a lot of stuff that you'll probably never have. So this is the Awakened Heavy Armor sets. So if we just go through them in order, we have the Tempest Dragon Storm Boots. And then we have obviously the remaining set of the Tempest. And then we have the Awakened Rampaging Fire Boots. And then the rest of it. And then so on and so forth. Right, and then you go on to light armor, same thing. Right, this is the healing set. Now, the cool thing about these level 1 set armors is they have a, a hue around them. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but you guys will actually see it from my perspective as well. It's hard to see, but I mean, I don't know why it's not working. Oh, because I took off. <laughs> there you go. See how it works? Like, look at my body carefully with all this shiny stuff around me. If I take this off, the orange is gone. If I put it on and I have the full set on, then you'll see like an orange hue around me, which is like basically what that is. Like what that green and like blue colors are. And yeah, we move on to so the Awakened Dragons of Tranquility healing set. And then you have the Evil Dragons, which is once again, sort of a AGI and Lux set. This is more for Mecha, right? Then you have the Awakened Roarings, which is like Blade Dancer. And yeah, so on and so forth. So this is my set right here. Cloth armor. I have this set as well. So once again, you guys can just go ahead and stop and just check out this armor for yourself. So we have this one. So once again, this is going to be AGI and luck, while this one is going to be Wiz and luck. And then you have Ints and luck. So on and so forth. I don't want to bore you guys with all this. Accessories, this got a lot, a lot of uh, revamp. As you guys can tell, like, the older rings used to look like that, like, really simple. Now they're, like, l they look legendary. <laughs> I mean, look at the way they look. Like, the background is, like, blackish. Like, it's kind of weird. But, yeah, I mean, the rings now have combos. You put them on. There's a three-piece effect. And, yeah, capes as well. Pretty cool with a bunch of different, um, like, sets as well. So, you, now you have a cape set with a ring and a trophy set. So, you guys can go ahead and just pause and look at these for yourself. And then you have also enchanted capes, so this is pretty new. That's pretty cool. And yeah, trophies as well, so I can go into these in more detail in the next video. But for now, I want to show you guys something actually really cool. It is the new area where you can run, which is kind of for lower levels as well as mid-level tiers. So it's pretty useful. It's called um, Dimension of Souls, if I'm not mistaken. Most people just call it DOS though. Alrighty, let's get on our amazing dragon here. A lot of people around here actually. <laughs> so this is Avon, which is, you know, you'll find a lot of people here actually. People just kind of chill here. So Dimension of Souls to get to it, uh, this is actually part of the new update as well. Which is like, you know, it's pretty old now, but if you're from the main server, this is considered really new for you. <laughs> You'd go to Valley of Kings. And then once you're here, it's pretty interesting to get in. So once you're here, it's kind of cool that the music switches up. So you'd come this way. And now that you came this way, you'll go through this uh, green area right here. And this will take you on to Dimension of Souls, which is the new area for running. And as we make our way down, it's pretty cool.
Alrighty, so to make things really easy, I'm gonna take out the um, engineer, go to Mecha. Our class is perfect, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's switch our gear as well. There we go. And perfect. So now, let's get off our mount. So they're really low level, they're not gonna get targeted by me, or I mean, they're not gonna target me. So this is the area you would run your classes. And let's just go over the map really fast. So I came in through here. Alternate Dimension of Souls. Wow, I actually attracted. Okay. <laughs> nice to know. So let me just keep walking so I don't die. So yeah, so these are all the mobs that you kill to level your classes. So the way you want to do it is actually you want to just kind of gather a bunch of them. We're pretty strong, so we're going to one-shot a bunch of them. You would just kind of hit one at a time. Come this way. They actually stay with you, so it's fine if you lose... Like side of them, then you come this way, and then you drag these guys along with these guys. You kind of just drag as much as you can, and then you look behind you and you see a hole only. So keep it going, and then this way. <laughs> as you guys can tell, I mean, there's a hole on me. And see how I'm taking zero damage? You just watch closely. Let me just like kind of. Exactly. Zero, zero damage. Okay, never mind. They're doing damage now. <laughs> so I'll just blow myself up. There you go. Healed back to normal. But the way to actually kill them is like this. You're going to make a state. You're going to use the buff. Right? You're going to come this way. And then you're going to go this way. Drag all these guys. So they're still going to come behind us, I'm pretty sure. Unless they get blocked by something. They should still be coming. Then you come this way, get these guys, and then get these guys right here, along with these guys. Alright, so now you would buff up yourself, use this, we might lag here a little bit, but it's okay. <laughs> There's so many people on us right now. Glad we're not taking any damage though, that's, that's a plus. As soon as they die, we should be like, this frame drop should be going away. I mean, this is kind of guaranteed to happen while the effect's going on, so it's good. At least we're not like. As you guys can tell, they're pretty much dying. I mean, look at all these skills that we're capping. Move speed was 30%, aim attack. So it's one of those things where like, oh, this guy's a little weak, so he's gonna take forever. Let's just keep going. I wanna show you guys as much as I can of this place. And then maybe for the next episode, uh... Be sure to drop a comment if you guys want to see like the other running area, which is called Battle of Time and Space. And then there's the other one, which is also like for like really high levels. So I'll keep that one a surprise and show you guys. All right, so we're gonna drag these guys this way, and then this way, and then this way. Just keep it going. Alrighty, so now we got a bunch actually, so we're high key chilling. Like, let's get these frogs over here, along with these guys. So then, this is a pretty good amount. Obviously, I can keep dragging more, but I just want to make it like kind of a speedy run, just so you guys can get the hang of it. And then, whenever you want to start killing, you would just use your skill five on my bar right there. Take out that skill, and they should get mowed. Yep. They're, they're literally getting mowed. <laughs> I mean, if you're not strong enough, you would probably get one shot here. So you gotta look out for that. I mean, you gotta make sure you're tanking you know? And we should be good. Alrighty. They're pretty much dead. <laughs> now, to get out of here, it's kinda hard. Since they will aggro you pretty much at all times. You're gonna have to kind of walk out of here. So just look at the mini map. You'd make your way through here. Good thing our move speed is pretty high. I mean, for on foot without a mount, like it's pretty high. And yeah, that will be basically Dimension of Souls. Let me know if you guys enjoy like the new content that this game has brought forth. I really wish like the main server would catch up to this content. It would be nice to see, especially because I put like a lot of effort into the main server, which is with Array Games. But yeah, I mean, this will be it for the private servers. Uh, kind of like a sneak peek into the new stuff that's in the game. There's a lot more to go through. 
Uh, I'll be over to go through in the next episodes. I mean, this is as much as I can get into, like, one episode. But, yeah, let me know if you guys definitely enjoyed this one. It was, uh, it was kind of, like, all over the place, but, I mean, there's just so much to go through. So, <laughs> pardon me if, you know, you're kind of confused on, like, you know, oh, we just went over the gear, now, like, the running area. So, yeah, so, like, the gear is, like, new stuff, whereas, like, the running area is, like, you, where you would basically fight monsters to level up your classes. So, it kind of goes hand in hand. And, yeah, be sure to drop a comment down below what you guys think of these episodes. Uh, smash that like button, and please, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. I mean, 50% of you, or actually more than 50% of you are not subscribed. So be sure to smash that subscribe button for more content like this. And this game is honestly amazing. There's so much to do. There's so many dungeons to run. So I can't wait. And I'm super excited for the future episodes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And take care. Stay safe. And IT he out.